Item six uh, is in regards to our insurance, and who do we turn this over to you, Mr. Brown? We'll turn it over to me just shortly so I don't keep this meeting going really long. <laughs> and then we'll turn the time over to Blake uh, Isaac from RBI uh, uh, Benefits, who uh, will bring more clarity to the uh, issue at hand. Uh, basically, uh, as a result of the Affordable Care Act, uh, the uh, district's uh, uh, health care policy, uh, which um, the board approved last spring that was implemented starting in July, uh, we found out that, uh, uh, you know, as a re result of the Affordable Care Act, that, uh, our health benefits are going to be going up. Um, as a result of um, the opportunities uh, afforded to us, uh, we can opt in early uh, in November at a 2.1% 2. 2. Uh, increase over our current rates or in December at 3.5% of, of our current rates. If we wait <coughs> until our full year is up uh, this next year and we implement at that time, our rates will go up 62%. And uh, why that is, I don't know. I just know that the Affordable Care Act uh, is, is, is uh, probably to deal with that. So I'd like to turn the time over to Blake and let him explain why it is and then allow the board uh, time to ask, uh, ask sure. any questions. At Thank that you, time. Kevin. Where, yeah. where is it appropriate to stand? Just right here? Uh, okay. <coughs> well, of course, uh, you may know that the Affordable Care Act. We need your name. Oh, Blake Isaac okay. with RBI Benefits. Okay, thank you. Um, I was hired about six years ago by the district and uh, worked with the district on benefits over the course of, of, of those years. We enjoyed the relationship very much. Okay, thank, you. Um, thank you. The the Affordable Care Act was passed and has been implemented since 2010. And it's implemented in stages. Um, this upcoming year is probably the most uh, dramatic impact on individuals and, and small groups. Small group is defined as a, as a company with 2 to 50 employees. So the, the district falls in that category. And the rating system, the way the underwriters look at uh, rating policies and premiums is, is going to be different. Instead of having the medical risk categories where they can look at a group and say, there's so much risk, we can, we can put it here, put this group here instead of here or here, that'll no longer be the case. It'll be one pool, it'll be community rated, and so that kind of dramatically affects some companies will go quite high, some will come low and will kind of meet the middle. And that's, a, that's kind of a quick thumbnail of a community rate. The underwriters won't have that ability to place in different categories. So good for some, not for others. But for the district, as we looked at it with, with Kevin and, and with Wes, we looked at the the next year's estimate, which is a 60% increase, um, that they said would, would happen in July. We're talking Anthem Blue Cross, the current health carrier for the district. They did offer an early renewal. And what that means is we could renew, as Kevin indicated, we could renew in November or December. And what that does is it, it gives the district an extra amount of time, it gives us an extra amount of time to look at options, to let the dust settle, because there's still a lot of dust flying out there. And you may have heard it's hard to get on these government exchanges, there's a lot of political rank, rancor. So it just, it just makes sense to do that. And as Kevin indicated, you'll take a slight increase Two, three percent, depending on if you go November or December, that would change the annual renewal date from July to November or December. <coughs> but it would also give us more time next year to secure those rates and, and as Wes, as Wes and I were talking, save the district in excess of sixty thousand dollars to do that. Um, in the meantime, give us more time to see how things settle next year. Questions? No, um, I got one. Yes, sir. So we don't know right now what that renewal. We know that changing the renewal date is going to save us 58% on what it would do if we waited to the end. Yeah. However, we don't know what the next 
for the next year, we don't have any clue what that that's going to be. We don't. We don't. But we will. We will know. That the, the key is we need to know in time for you to do the budget, right? And and that's that's what that's our intention. So your recommendation would be to tie into the November and give us some time to analyze it, and it saves us. You know, we're down at two point one percent versus sixty plus percent for an affordable care act. Yes, <laughs> that's an yeah. option more on, by the way. <laughs> and, uh, and West, I, I would even go I, December. Uh, my and, and if I could, just for clarification, what so what we're talking about is that that uh, if we were to renew early, we're going to have a little bit of an uptick in this year's this budget through June. And then the savings will really happen next June through either October or November. And if we renew in if we renew in December, then that gives us savings through November as opposed to savings just through October. And that's where the twelve thousand dollar a month savings. So my recommendation would be that we renew in December because that's going to give us more months of bigger savings as opposed to trying to do it in November. And that's, I, I agree. I think that would that's be kind of my, my assessment of that. And you guarantee you'll know what that amount's Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I guarantee it's as good as a guarantee that it's still going to be going. <laughs> Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, um, any of you seniors here, I'll talk to a teacher and give me the extra credit if you can tell us what the common nickname for the Affordable Care Act is. <laughs> I'm a kid. Oh, there's extra credit. <laughs> All right. Make sure we get your dance for your <laughs> Okay, is there any other questions? I'll say the motion. <coughs> uh, Mr. President, I'll make a motion that we um, change our date of renewal to December. Is that the uh, first or? Yes, December 1st. Well, I know. Well, November 1st was uh, December. is the better say the second one, but uh, I think the recommendation yeah, the is recommendation the, the is to go Again, to for clarity, Rich, if we renew in December, then we save an extra month of 12000 next year. Oh, okay. uh, we're going to pay a little bit more this year if we wait, but we're going to have a bigger savings next year significantly more. So I think that's why we want to do it to December. Gives us more time to complete our guarantee. Yeah. Okay. 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 So my rec or so my write that down? my motion is that we renew. Is that December first or December thirty first? December first. December first. December first. Then we change our renewal date to December first on our uh, health insurance benefits. Okay. okay. I have a motion and second. All those in favor, raise the right hand. Uh, Pastor Nana, thank you very much. Thank you. We appreciate your help. Thank